Hey folks, want one of these contentment mugs? Meet us at the Mother Earth News Fair this weekend, October 19th and 20th. And uh, walk up to us, introduce yourself, and let us know that you watch the channel or you watch this video. We have a couple of these mugs to give away. First couple of people to do that, get a free mug. Hopefully we'll see you there. Thanks. Hey everyone, I'm Robert, and I have a big box to open. And I ordered this a little while ago to use at Contentment because there is so much sun there. I ha had to have it shipped here to the duplex because it was shipped FedEx for free. And of course we couldn't get that up there. So it was shipped here, we were gonna take it back with us, but as you guys know by now, we're back here. And I haven't opened it yet because I was really wondering if how effective it would be here because the sun level here is not as intense as it is at Contentment and there are trees in the backyard. And I don't want to leave it out in the front yard. But anyway, so here you have it. Ta-da! A brown box. <laughs> A brown box you can use in the sun. Yes. So inside this is... Ooh. A mirror, so you can gaze at yourself lovingly. Okay, so what this is, and I didn't know it wasn't, I thought it was going to be in another box, but it is not. So this is a sun oven, and... Um, so, this is the all-American. Yes, this is the official, true, real sun oven. And, made uh, by all-American sun oven. <laughs> yes, made by all-American sun oven. <laughs> and this is a way for people to bake and cook without using wood and other means. So the reason why I got this at, for contentment is because if you've seen any of other of our other videos, you know that we were only using a camp stove or a grill. And I was really kind of missing the idea of baking something. So like I said, we ordered this for up there. And here it is. I haven't opened it yet, but this is it. So I ordered the uh, special one that Doug and Stacy had on theirs because they put a bunch of different things into this particular uh, kit. And so here it is. Well, open it. Let's check it out. Oh, I don't really know how. It's all kind of stuck. Yeah, I'll help you get it out. We should lift these out. Pretty fancy. Let's see what's inside the box. So we got quite a few goodies here. Doug and Safe's <clears throat> favorite son of and recipe. Well, looky there. Have fun. It's like Christmas in October. Oh, look. <laughs> My favorite things. <laughs> you play with that. I'll play with the sun of it. <laughs> okay. Okay. That okay. stays in there. So where's the food? Um, I have to make it. Oh. All right. Is it time to eat yet? No. It'll take me a little while to figure out how to do this thing. Let's examine the fit and finish on this. Looks like the top is made of uh, pine or para wood or something. It looks like para wood. Uh, para wood, for those of you who may not know, comes from the Indonesian or Chinese rubber tree. What happens is these rubber trees produce latex for only so many years, and then they stop producing latex. And then what do you do with the you know with the standing forest 
of rubber trees that no longer produce latex. Well, you try to sell the wood to the furniture market. <laughs> and we also have these metal, it appears they're metal, uh, reflectors that come with a protective film. It needs to be, I guess, removed and okay. And so it sits like that. Hmm. You direct your, of course, these things direct the, the sun down into the uh, baking cavity. Mm -hmm. They're metal, which is good um, for the winds we get at contentment. Ooh, I just don't know. Uh, these are rated for how many miles um, per hour? 40, they said. 40? Yeah. Okay. Because I called, one of the things I wanted to find out before I ordered it is the durability for uh, wind. But Yeah. Folks, for those of you who don't know, we get a lot of wind at contentment. And just about every day during the spring season uh, is a heavy wind day. So, you know, we need something that will hold up in the wind. And um, But honestly, I don't know. To, you know, I don't know. Don't Let's know. <laughs> it, looks, uh, it looks a bit... Um, so anyway, this is the uh, sun directional gauge, I believe. Uh, you line that up with the angle of the sun and it... And uh, that way you know your sun oven's always facing the sun, uh, I think. And it's got a nice, uh, looks like a tempered glass lid, which is kind of nice, and a good, nice uh, seal, uh, which is really nice. The inside of the box uh, is black and metal lined. The outside of the box uh, appears to be, you know, blown plastic, which is fine. Uh, durable and should be fine. Uh, it's got a nice carrying handle on it. If you think about it, how many of us carry an oven around <laughs> or or have to put away their oven at the end of the day? Uh, the screws, the hardware on it appears to be galvanized. Um, there's some kind of tool back here that I don't recognize, but I mean, probably figure it out as we go. What do you think, Robert? I like it. Like it? Mm -hmm. Parchment paper. The kit comes with parchment paper. But... Glass lid. Mm -hmm. Metal lid. Okay. Enamelware. And stackable pot. And that looks like, yeah, those pots look like they would, what, prepare a meal for a family four? Something like that? Probably. Yeah. Two loaf pans. Two loaf pans. Did you say they're Wilton? They're by Wilton. Oh, Wilton. Wilton. They're larger. They're actually larger loaf pans than what I have. Right. Well, then that works. Okay, you have the directions. Okay. And let's take a look at the directions. Using your All-American Sun Oven is easier than you might think. Mm-hmm. The best way to learn is to start cooking. Well, I can't agree more. Um, best way to do it is just to jump into it. Oh, I see. This back here is a um, uh, adjust the rear height so you can angle it more toward the sun, which is kind of cool. Recipe book. A recipe book from the sun oven people. Uh, so this comes with a dehydrating and baking rack set. Dehydro oh, it comes with a dehydrating set. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which dual purpose leveling rack. You know, the thing I really like about these booklets so far is that they've got photographs that show you, you know, what it's supposed to look like. And they answer, it looks like, some frequently uh, asked questions. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so. And then there are some recipes in here that show you how to, I guess, uh, hard boil eggs. Yeah, nice pictures and everything. Cool. And what else we got? Here's the. Uh, that a dehydrating rack? Oh, this turkey. Is the turkey rack, roasting oh, yeah. rack. Very nice. What size turkey would you say that'll handle? 12 pounds, Probably, something like that? Maybe. Okay, all right. 
Um, dual purpose leveling rack. And that also comes with its own directions. Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. And leveling rack. Oh, I got another one. Okay, so that first one was this one's. This one's flat. That one's curved. It's a leveling rack which hangs from the threaded rods inside the oven and swings freely to prevent spilling. To install the leveling rack, then you just put it in there. And this is what you put your stuff on. Uh, it's important to note that not they should be your pots should be on this and on the floor of the oven. Uh, well, that makes sense. Okay, and it comes with your directions and color. That's nice. You know, I'm kind of impressed with the uh, you know the quality of these racks. They seem fairly heavy duty. Okay, so this is the, okay, so let's see. We have the sun oven, we have the two stackable pots, the multi-fuel WAPI, here it is. And this is um, a, WAPI is a transparent tube which contains wax. The wax melts and drops to the bottom of the tube when it reaches 150 degrees for six minutes, indicating that the water has been pasteurized and is now safe to drink. Oh, cool. So you would put that tube, I guess, in a pot of water? Or no. or you just put it inside I, the oven? just put it inside the oven. Got it. And when it's, I guess, all down, I suppose, I don't know. Oh, that's a clever, oh, we'll have to read the directions. I don't know, to tell you the truth. But that's a good idea. Let you know when it reaches an appropriate temperature for pasteurization. The bottom of the tube. Huh. Yeah, so this is a water purifying sort of helper. And then there are some pre-cooking instructions. When you first get the oven, this is what you do. Okay. So this kit, the Off Grid with Doug and Stacy kit, came with this stuff. And if you look at this uh, particular paper here, these are the different things that I that they have. Um, that they come can, in the that kit. You can, no, well, oh. the things that they're checked off. Um, over there are the de dehydrating racks. Those are the first things we took out. Yeah, the dehydrating racks. That's cool. You know, um, all told, I mean, I think I'm... Uh, initial impression is that I'm happy uh, with the way this is built. It's simple enough to use. It's not complicated. So. And there are some videos that I need to watch to figure out how to do it. So what's your initial impression, Robert? I like it. It um, seems more, I don't know, it seems pretty durable. I guess I was thinking it was probably going to be like a cardboard box or something. I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, know, like the ones I've seen that people make, the homemade ones. Yeah. Well, it's it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. We should uh, We should try some recipes out on it coming up. I will. Okay. Maybe this weekend. Ooh, that'd be nice. Yeah. I just wanted to let you know about the cost comparisons, buying the Doug and Stacy kit versus buying it separately or buying their packages. We saved over $100 by purchasing the Doug and Stacy kit, and it comes with some things that I didn't see on the All American Sun Oven website. The Doug and Stacy special comes with the loaf pans, um, the turkey roasting basket, and their little recipe book. Here's what comes in the standard package. If you order it from All American, just their standard package, you get the sun oven, you get the dehydrating and preparedness kit, which is the dehydrating racks, the parchment paper, the Wappy water uh, tester thing, and the two stackable pots. You get a few more items with the Doug and Stacy kit. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's still available or not. I contacted All American Sun Oven to ask them a question about the wind um, strength of the little solar panels. And I also asked them how I could go about ordering the Doug and Stacy special because I had heard that it was much less expensive. And they told me to go to Doug and Stacy's thing, click on a link in the description on their video. We don't know any of these people. We don't know the All-American Sun Oven guy. I've never spoken to him. We don't know Doug and Stacy. Never spoken to them. I have no idea what the agreement is between those two groups of people. All I know is I saved a bunch of money and I wanted a Sun Oven. Oh, we haven't tried it yet. No, we have not tried it, but I found out, I found out the backyard's gonna be a little bit difficult to use. 
So I'll have to put it in the front yard, which I'm not really thrilled about that because of dogs. What's the first recipe you think you want to try in a sun oven? Oh, something really simple. I'll probably go ahead and do the boiled egg thing because evidently that's something that's not really that difficult to mess up. That will be my first recipe, boiled eggs without water in a sun oven. Egg salad, here we come. I'll show you how well this thing works. And I'm just going to show you unedited stuff just to show you how easy or not easy it is for me to use. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.